15. I can't believe that happened at Mike's party. Well, it did. I, I really don't know how to explain it. I don't know. What's up, dude? What's up, Joey? Hey. What's up, Mama? What's up? What brings you out so early, dude? I'm about to go for a walk. Can't yeah. sleep. Dude, you look beat. Seriously, you're not a living dead, man. I can't sleep. It really? sucks. How yeah. come? I don't know. I really don't know. Peace, man. Be yeah. careful out there. Yeah. I'll show you guys see later. You. Crazy. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Is, any, is anybody there? Must be hearing things. Hello? Hello? That was a great sleep. Do I have everything? It's go time. By the time Hewitt approached Candace Bergen to join 60 Minutes staff in 1998, she had firmly established herself as a prominent contributor to a high-rated network news magazine called FYI. Bergen's journalism experience was limited to what she got playing a character by the name of Murphy Brown, a hugely famous and highly endearing character, but nevertheless, the creation of sitcom writers in Hollywood. So you understand that, kids? 
You all listening to me? All right. So who, who here wants to make it in the movie directing business? Let me see some hands. That's why you're all here, right? One hand. Two hands. I was pro. Who can repeat what I just said? You asked us if we wanted to make it in the movie business. I know you're smart. Shut up. Now, to make a good movie, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, good actors. Good actors. Exactly. To make a good movie, these are the people who are going to be in it. And if they suck, this is what your movie's going to end up like. This is what your career is going to end up like. This is how your life is going to end up like. Clipped. Professor Bushwhack. Class, what's my rule about being late? Better, Better late than never. Never, never late, late center. Is this a joke to you? No. Get out. Get out. Wait for me outside. Hold on, class. I gotta deal with this garbage. Tom. What's going on, buddy? Nothing, man. You're showing up late to my class, trying to set an example? I know. You know what this is going to do to you, right? I know. You're aware that you're not going to graduate if I fail you? I know. I'm sorry. You got to get your shit together, man. You got to get your shit together. I'm not going to let you in now, but uh, try to be on time next time, all right? Mm -hmm. What's my golden rule? I don't remember. Better late than never. All right, Tom, get out of here. What's up, Kevin? Yo, man, you're back early. Yeah, got to class late and I couldn't get in. I heard you come in this morning. Yeah, I couldn't sleep, so I went for a walk. Did you get any sleep? No. Don't keep this up, man. I know. If I keep going to class late, I'm going to fail. I'm graduating this semester. I can't let this happen. Well, what are you going to do now? Sleep. Later. Everything. It's go time.
Don't let fear paralyze you. Prepare yourself not only technically, but also emotionally. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <sighs> Yo, Tom, I'm going to this party. You want to come with? Nah, I'm good, bro. Stuff I have to do. All right, take it easy, brother. Just lay down, man. Just I don't want to lay down. No. Just lay down. I don't want to lay I'm, down. Well, I'm going to sleep then. No, drink with me. I can't drink, oh. man. It's too early in the morning. Ugh, bathroom. Yo, man. You all right? <laughs> Open up, man. Are you all right? Leave me alone. Come on, I got class in the morning. Come on. <laughs> Let me in. I'm going to sleep then, brother. I got class in the morning. Mr. Janney, things are looking up, Bushwhack. Things are looking up. <laughs> 